Sorry, the last video cut out because I ran out of time. So let's go ahead and finish with question number 12 from the study guide. So it says the following image shows the graph resulting from a transformation of the function. So we must graph the given function first. And this may look a little tricky, or you may not understand it on the test because you may assume that this function is this function and it is not. Because if you look at the function that was given to us in function notation form, then you'll notice that the vertex of this function is negative three zero and the vertex of this graphed function is certainly not negative three zero. So if I put the vertex of my given function at negative three zero, right? Now I have my given function and I need to compare that to the graphed function. So what it's asking is what transformation happened from the given function to the graph function. So if you notice the vertex, the only thing that changed is I went one, two, three, four, five, six, seven units to the right. So I went plus seven. But what does that mean in the world of transformations? Remember 3.6 notes that we did? Well, if it's having a horizontal movement, it moved horizontally seven units right, what does that mean? Well, anything that's happening horizontally is happening inside the parentheses. So see here, we have the drop down menu of f of x plus k, where the k is outside the parentheses. Well, then that would have been a vertical movement. So we're going to do f of x plus k is our correct choice because it's inside the parentheses and any transformation that's happening inside the parentheses is a horizontal movement left to right, like the ping pong ball is stuck inside the walls. Now, right means negative or a negative seven. So, because remember X is lie and I'm happening inside, the movement is happening inside the parentheses and inside the parentheses is my X. And because X is Y, it's not going to be a positive seven, but a negative seven. All right, looking at number 13, and sorry, these graphs weren't supposed to, these tables weren't supposed to be there, but I'll explain them as we go along. All right, we have the given function F of X equals X plus two. Again, we must graph the given function first. So if I'm given F of X equals X plus two, and I'm going to graph that function, I'm gonna start with the Y intercept of two, and then I'm gonna move the slope up one over one, down one over one, connect my points. Now, this is my given function. This is my graphed function. Here's the table of my given function, okay? At zero, my y-intercept is at two. And at negative four, my y-value is negative two. So if I'm comparing those two numbers, let's look at the graphed function that they gave me. And at zero, I'm at four. And at negative four, I'm at negative four. So what's happening is my y values are changing by a factor of two. So the y's are changing by a factor of two. And so anything that's affecting my y has to be by two, which makes sense that it would be the letter D. Now, it's not one half, of f of x because then it would be cutting my y values in half and it's not inside the parentheses because my y values are changing not my x values all right question 14 the last one so remember when we are dealing with transformations we are comparing our vertical transformations and our horizontal transformations so if something is happening inside the parentheses then it's happening horizontally, so left to right. If it's outside of the parentheses, the change is vertical, which is up and down like a kite. So inside parentheses, we use the letter H for horizontal, but you can still use the letter K, that's fine, like they did in the previous problem. And outside the parentheses is vertical. So we now have to compare this function, f of x minus two, to the parent function. So the negative two is outside the parentheses, so it's going to be a vertical change. It's changing vertically. And because it's a minus two, it's going to be going down two units. Now the graph of f of x with that minus two inside the parentheses is going to be a horizontal movement. 
or horizontal change. And remember, x is y, so even though it's a negative 2, and you would think it would be going 2 units to the left, we're going to remember that x is y, and so negative means we're going to the right. So we're going to go to the right 2 units. And that is it for your study guide. Please, please, please study. I'm not going to be giving test retakes. All right.